There's also this idea in my work of the layering of walls has history. There is a history behind all of the walls across the city. My work like, is all about the, what I call the informal creativity of the streets of Egypt, which is like uh, with a paintbrush or if someone uh, creates an ad for with artistic means, uh, but with a completely different intention. And so what I do is I recontextualize these ads or these uh, wall writings and paintings into this context of an art gallery for the context of art in general and so you have this new perspective on these things when you go back into the street and see them. Yeah, I'm, I'm repainting the walls and I'm, I'm putting the, the situation in an artistic context but it's still very anthropological. I'm understanding how this gentrification which is very much at the core of my work, how is it affecting the people directly and when I came to AUC I had already started working on this body of work but I didn't really know how to you know, navigate it properly. And so how AUC has been helping is pointing out maybe some of the problems regarding my approach to the work. So for example, there's this whole concept of, you know, aestheticizing poverty. And how do you, how my work could like, kind of cross that line of aestheticizing poverty. And so it's, it's very much helped me like, continue to do this work, but still do it ethically, still do it with the proper intention. It's very important to me that all of my pieces be created at least 95% with household paint. And I also use spray paint, and it's mostly the spray paint that, also like the cheapest kind of spray paint. So I want to use what would be used in the street. The most important audience is, of course, the, you know, the Egyptian people. If I can captivate that audience, then that's like I've, I've achieved my goal.